guys. So we're in Dumaguete. It's uh, 20 to 5. I, know, I think it's Thursday today, Thursday afternoon. Anyway, I think it's going to be peak time. So this will give you a good indication of the traffic. There's lots of the uh, tricycles around here. The three wheelers. Motorised. So they're like you know, taxis. Three wheel taxis. So I'm just going to head out, grab some dinner. That's a three wheeler. So the traffic will be going everywhere as per normal. Now the thing about Dumaguete that's quite famous is there's no traffic lights in this city. Yeah, so no traffic lights. And um, I've heard someone say online, watching the traffic here, it's like watching uh, like a, a thing of some water that's full of fish. And the fish sort of swim around and they just sort of miss each other, they don't bump into each other. That's what it's like here with the traffic. That's how he described it anyway, which I think pretty apt description. So maps will appear and the red line will indicate the streets that we are walking on. So there's your three wheel of tricycle. They've all got numbers on them. So apparently the different numbers mean that they can go in different areas of the city. Like some would have a license that they could go a lot further than others. Some would be that they uh, have to go very local. I'm walking past a few shops now and there's lots of duk duk music that I might have to edit out. So these people just sort of creep out a little bit when they think it's safe to do so they go a bit further. And you can see there's a crossing just there so when you cross the road you just got to start to sort of walk out and keep watching the traffic and uh, you know make sure the traffic stop for you basically. So that's the way you, uh, you move around. The stray dogs, they know what to do. So what we might do is cross the road here and hopefully uh, I can navigate my way across and see what happens, eh? Okay, good. Successfully made it across. We even had a wave from the guy in the, in the truck there. So as you can see, this is a bit of a major intersection here. Cars going both ways. Lots of people around. So I might see if we can sort of edge our way out here. The tricycle, another tricycle. Lots of motorbikes over there. See if we can get across here, okay.
There's Jolly Bees across the road again. Jolly Bees is the uh, Filipino version of Ronald. There's your tricycles. Got to uh, check my uh, local sim, my local Filipino sim when I arrive in the country. And uh, I can't have much data, I got 40 or 50 gigs, but I think I might be close to using that upgrade. I might have to go to a shop to get that updated. Do I need internet access? There's always lots of, uh, lots of people walking around in cars, bicycles and motorbikes. So another intersection here. The bread shop. Oh, these are like the things I had in the bus on the way here. So, if you saw my video on uh, going from Cebu to Dumaguete, there's a guy got on the bus and was selling those. So, I had a couple of those three of those little cakes. So I've just walked down near the end of the main sort of centre district and this is where Silliman University is. It's a well respected university. Apparently it's, I think it's the best university in Dumaguete. Just over there, Silliman University. So lots of people coming out of there. And then if you just walk down one block, you're down to the ocean front. So now I'm down on Rizal Boulevard, which is like the main boulevard along beside the water. And there's lots of like cafes and restaurants and things down here. Lots of traffic also. A few hotels, things like that, along by the waterfront. like you could buy hamburgers at that place. There's a bar. Looks like lots of expats in there. Nice temperature though. 
very nice temperature. Casablanca. This is a restaurant, I don't know. Hello. Right. Good restaurant. Yeah. This is the chicken sandwich. It's huge. That does look. Add the schnitzel. Do you, do you mind if I just video? It's quick. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. I need to have some dinner. How much is that worth? Three twenty-five. So it's all right. That's pretty good. So he was a nice guy from Alaska. I stopped and had a bit of a chat with him. He was a, I think he was a priest from Alaska, yeah. So, interesting the people you bump into. I spoke to a Kiwi earlier today. Cab pizza. Yeah, so it's restaurants all the way along down here. Apparently, the uh, the waterfront there gets pretty busy around this time of night or just after this. Another restaurant there. So I've just got to choose which one I'm going to go and eat at tonight. It's got a band. Honeycomb. So you see lots of kids like that with their hand out. He's selling like towels. temperature at the moment probably 25 26 something like that very pleasant yeah so you can see over there there's starting to be more and more people about Starbucks here again. They're everywhere, aren't they? Starbucks. I guess in Starbucks you can guarantee that it's going to be nice air conditioning and a decent free Wi Fi. Another restaurant next door to Starbucks. Jerry's. There are dogs here just crossing the road. Yeah. 
So I've come across the road here because there's a lot of people sitting down, so there must be some street food over here. And they're playing some volleyball over there. I think those guys set up nearly every night down here. There's quite a few people around there. So now I've walked down past all the sort of the restaurants and the nice area. I'm down in more of the local area now. So Not too many expats down here. There's quite a few back there. Might have to get the map out and see exactly where I am. Okay, it's uh, been walking around for a while now, and as you see, it's getting dark. So I need to eat. And Right opposite this service station here, I know it's a nice sort of place. They have very good cheeseburgers. City burger. City burger. So So I ordered a cheeseburger and a small Coca-Cola. Very cheap this place and it's it's good. So and there's plenty of action to so right beside the busy road again. Oh. Hopefully it's not too dark already. It's been an interesting walk. I've got to get a haircut tomorrow. I went past a little uh, barber that's sort of out of the way, so I'll uh, go there tomorrow and see how much a haircut costs. I'd say it'll be not very expensive. But anyway, wait till my burger arrives and then I'll give you the, uh, the, look, the rundown on it. Okay, so hopefully you can see that burger. I oh, know it's a little bit dark, but hopefully you can see it. It's, uh, it's a good looking cheeseburger. And I'll tell you the price in a minute. Very cheap though. So we've got a uh, shoe shop over there. Looks like the guy just sets up his shoe shop after that shop closes down for the day. So you'll see as I walk on here, there's still a lot of traffic. It's uh, 6.30 at night. So the sun's well and truly gone down, as you can see. It's dark pretty early. So 
so you just got to pick your time when you can cross. So these guys aren't going that fast, but then not going super slow either. But I think it started to thin out a bit. Half an hour ago, there was a lot more traffic than this. So that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't seen my other videos, please go back and have a look at those. And make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, that'll help my channel. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.